Welcome. Hey everybody and welcome to the very first episode of my little Jurassic World Evolution series. Today um, we are just spending a look on uh, the last couple of Jurassic park games, so to say. And by we, I don't, mm, I, I'm not talking about me and my camel, I'm talking about me and Chris Sawyer, who is also with me today. Hi Chris, how are you doing? Hello, how are you doing? You good? I'll, I'll be your camel, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. No, you, you achieved beef belief. That, that, we we shouldn't fine. take that away from you. No, unless yeah. there's a chief beef camel, then that would be, that would be cool. <laughs> oh, that, okay, that would be, that would be, the best, <laughs> the best. So yeah, um, the reason I invited you is uh, first of all because um, it's been a long time since we did something together, so it was awfully time to do this. Um, and secondly, because you have played a whole bunch of Jurassic Park games, which yes. I haven't. Uh, I just played a couple of them. So to talk about all of them, it might make sense to actually have played them. And since I haven't, uh, yeah, um, we do it together. Um, but yeah. As I just said, um, we are going to talk about all the games that have been out there for years now. And uh, since Jurassic World Evolution will now kind of continue the legacy of Jurassic Park games, um, we just, you know, we will have a bunch of episodes coming along in the next couple of weeks, um, which will all deal with some different aspects of the game, with some dif different features and stuff. Uh, but first of all, uh, we're going to talk about all the old games to, you know, get just a general idea what has been on the market. Also for all of you out there who haven't been too much into it. And maybe you just are a fan now of the Jurassic World Evolution or Jurassic World in general as a brand. Because it's yeah kind of a new start and we always have to see that there are also people who are just new to it, right? So let's do this. Okay, I just I, I would just start with the very first one because I assume that's the only one you haven't played, Chris, right? The first yeah. Zoo Tycoon one. I yes, yeah. I, I I don't think so. I, I don't recall playing uh, the dinosaur bit of that one. So yeah. Oh, oh before we start, we, we should clarify again that you are the other Chris Sawyer. I just it's always the same. <laughs> I totally forget about this, but people always confuse you with yes, yeah, Chris Sawyer, yeah, who's I get the it guy who made Planet Coaster. Yeah. Yeah, and the, uh, but no, you are. Uh... I was just gonna say a lot of the time I get asked if I like. Did you make Roller Coaster Tycoon? I'm like. No, <laughs> I uh, I would have had to have been like, like I don't know, six or something <laughs> if I did. No, yeah, the Mozart of computer games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe not that young, but uh, yeah, yeah. that's not me. But um, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, yeah. without further ado, let's now jump into the first game, which is the first Do Tycoon expansion pack, which, if I remember correctly, was called Dinosaur Dicks. And now I'm throwing away my MP3 stick over here, so if you heard something tumbling down, that was my MP3 stick, which actually is BB-8, just to mention that anyways. Um, <laughs> um, so the first, you know, I, the first Do Tycoon game was a game I really played a lot. Like, the, the whole game I played quite a lot. But then with the expansion pack um, or the um, addition to the game, the, it was not a DLC, it was actually an expansion pack you had to buy in store because there was like no online kind of download things. And I was like really going into the store and bought this for like, I don't know, it was something around 30 euros or something. I missed that. I, back I then. missed expansion I don't... packs. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I I was, yeah. DLC is really convenient, but there's something about having it in your hand that is just really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also what, one thing, and I think this is also what I remember from it, um, if there is the expansion pack, it has to be finished. It has to be a finished product, right? There, mm. there was nothing like a, a day one patch or something. These really ugly developments we had recently. <laughs> um, I mean, there are always pros and cons, but back then when you bought the expansion, there was a whole big new stuff in it. And so it was also with this game. And I remember that I actually liked this kind of Jurassic stuff. They had, as you can see in some, I will put in some screenshots later on, since I don't have them gathered all yet, I can't really talk about too much what I'm going to show you. But in general, I can just tell you that the overall style was pretty much the same as Zoo Tycoon 1 was in general. It was more like on the realistic 
hand uh, rather than the comic key one that Rollercoaster Tycoon had. Um, but it offered also some very interesting uh, scientific reasons behind it. Um, and even though it was not um, bounded to the universal trademark of Jurassic Park, uh, the dinosaurs definitely looked more like the Jurassic Park dinosaurs and not like scientifically correct, so in that kind of sense. Um, I, I think there's always an important thing to mention because there are also games out there who try to be a little bit more correct in terms of, you know, those animals should have had feathers and stuff. But this I game back then, though, in particular... They... I think I, w I watched uh, the uh, Jack Horner uh, presentation at Frontier, and um, he said you know, when Jurassic Park came out in 1993, that's what he thought a Triceratops would have looked like. So even though we, not, we know what they look like now, back then that probably is what they thought they would have looked like anyway. So that's a, that's a good way to yeah, look totally at it true, well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally true. I mean, and they look like beasts, right? So that's, <laughs> that's totally cool. Um, and of course, I mean, for a game franchise, you need some recognizable stuff. And sure. I, I, I'm, I'm quite sure that those work way better. But yeah, it was really cool to see also like how they were breeding their eggs and stuff. Um, and you really needed to take care of them. But obviously, the most fun part about that game was always releasing them free and let them chase the guests in your park and create a beautiful disaster. Um, and yeah, a you had also disaster. helicopters. I love that description. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so that, that was basically um, Zoo Tycoon uh, Dinosaur Digs, which I loved actually a lot. I mean, it didn't actually br brought in uh, too, too much of new kind of gameplay features. It was basically the zoo management game with some more stronger fences and uh, a faster and better helicopter <laughs> to, to change them if they would have broken out. But apart from that, it was just, you know, a customization in that kind of sense, but I loved it because it was my first game which has some Jurassic influences. So yeah, now I pretty much hand it over to you, Chris, because now it's it's time to talk through the games you have played and had your hands on. Cool. Uh, so I think the first one, first game I ever played, it wasn't a park builder, so it was Jurassic Park on the Mega Drive or Genesis, if uh, you're in, I think, North America, that's what it was called. And... Uh, it was a side-scroller, platformer, and basically you played as Alan Grant, or you could play the Raptor, which was cool, and uh, you kind of you kind of followed the film, but not that much, so I wonder if it was uh, developed before the film was out, before they knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, like things like the opening bit is like, um, you see uh, the T-Rex escape, but it uses the gas-powered Jeeps, not the tour Jeeps, do you know what I mean? Things like that. And yeah, just... Yeah. Uh, it's just a, a classic kind of uh, old retro game, basically, but it's still fun. I was playing it the other night, actually, and I wasn't very good at it, <laughs> but still, it's still <laughs> fun to play. And um, they actually did a sequel uh, called Rampage Edition, but um, it, I think it uses the same engine, but it's a lot more uh, smoother, and it's kind of cell shaded as well. So it's got the you know like the outline of the uh, of graphics mm, and things like yeah, that, yeah. and it's a really nice. And that one's kind of a they say it's harder, I think, but I don't. I don't think it's harder. I think um, it's. <laughs> I think the older one's harder for different reasons, for like control issues, whereas Rampage Edition might be harder because it's got a million enemies on the screen at once. Uh, but it's mm -hmm. the same kind of principles. You play as Grant, and then you got to get, you got to survive basically, get to the end of the game, or as the Raptor. I believe in the first one, I think, and the second one, which is uh, you have to kill Alan Grant. Which is a bit morbid, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, well, we, it's what it is, right? <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, I mean, you play as a dinosaur, you're gonna want to eat, right? So, <laughs> so one yeah, of those. yeah. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> and then uh, Lost World as well. That was on uh, Mega Drive, and that was kind of a different view. That was kind of a top-down view. And I believe mm. the um, the objective on that one was to rescue the dinosaurs. So that was a nice. Uh, Thing like that. I, I guess you could kind of say you were doing that on the first Jurassic Park, um, but definitely not the Rampage Edition because you could you could blow a lot of the dinosaurs up with things like. That. Sorry if you're hearing that. My computer's making sounds at me. Um, no, no, it's, it's totally so, fine. <laughs> good, yeah. Look here, he's... <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. That's, I was I was also th uh, thinking my hard drive was uh, that was be a problem because then recording would have brought it. But no, it's not. Right now, <laughs> it's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like a bright idea, doesn't it? Coming through. Blah, blah, blah. No, 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's top down view, and then the boss the boss fights had like a three D environment um, sometimes, so that was nice. Um, and that was a fun game. I remember getting that one for Christmas, I think, and I was so excited, so excited about that one. Um, what was next? Do you want to, do you want to go next? We, I don't know if you want to talk on because you, you haven't played them, right? Your favorite. No, I haven't played um, any of them, so I, I think the only one I played, and this is also the next one we have on the list, is Operation Genesis. Ah, uh, yeah, um, which is I guess. just one of my favorite games ever. Like, I'm still playing that to this day. I was on it this morning, uh, so I, I started playing at like four in the morning, <laughs> so something like that. <laughs> well, because my sleeping patterns are, are backwards, because my, my partner, she works nights, and I'm because I'm waiting on a, a job response, I'm at work at the moment, so I can stay up all night and sleep all day kind of thing be 17 again do you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah. as my, my sister so, described so we could it. say <laughs> so we could say you were even uh, earlier awake than your raptors the velus raptors were right <laughs> so, <laughs> well this is the thing at least yeah. i saw daylight i'm getting i'm getting my body's like i need to see daylight to function <laughs> i'm like no i can't okay. at the moment <laughs> uh, but yeah operation genesis. nope uh, body stop <laughs> genesis is still so much fun to play today i mean it's it's you build jurassic park do you know what i mean i mean that's that's what i mean that's why the video because obviously you got the new game coming out and stuff and which it is going to be the spiritual successor to this like like planet coaster was to um to roller coaster tycoon i mean this is mm. it's, it's i the, remember it, that this was yeah yeah, yeah i remember that this sequel, was like the, the first so, builder game yeah yeah was it actually the first uh, actual I don't know. theme park I... builder game? There was a Game Boy game as well, I think. Um, but I didn't. I don't believe. Where I you can it. actually build? Yeah, yeah. Park builder, dress park, park builder. I think. So. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, guys, for the video, um, you will now <laughs> see on the screen if we were right or not. If, if Operation Genesis was the first ever uh, 3D uh, park builder for Jurassic park games so to say um but i guess till today or like you know still today we don't have anything uh better and more developed like really in in kind of these high-res graphics we are living in today um i think operation genesis still is the most modern mm. game in that kind of sense it, um it which still is looks good interesting. i mean it did, that, it yeah, did it the it whole does. it has its own style so it hasn't aged badly I think if it went for realism, like like hundred percent realism looking, it would have aged badly. Like that's um, you know them kind of games yeah. do. Yeah, I just I just played that very briefly, and I remember that my first thought when I just you know did my research for this episode a little bit. Um, it's kind of a, a mix, at least in terms of how it looks and how the gameplay looks. It looks like a mix of um, Zoo Tycoon One and Two, the Jurassic. Yeah pieces so the thing about um zoo tycoon 2 is which i i think i'm i'm very on a very minority part here because um i didn't like zoo tycoon 2 mm -hmm. that much honestly i was you know it was for me it was like yeah we need to go into 3d graphics obviously but it was too cartoony right. for me it it was like i i like the zoo tycoon the original one for its approach not to be as cartoony as roller coaster mm. tycoon was um I, I thought it fitted right animals were like a little bit more on the serious side uh, i think in in comparison and and what i think operation genesis did very well is like being in the middle mm. of it i think with genesis i mean genesis came out about the same not long after jurassic park 3 so it was heavily influenced by 3 like um <laughs> which might not well, be this the best is the film well to, yeah to have well, an <laughs> i still like the film but yeah, yeah it's definitely my least favorite but you, you know charlotte charlotte my partner it's her favorite out of all of them can you believe that that's a that's a video no. discussion on its own right there you I, know what i mean yeah, <laughs> so, I, 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 yeah. we w Basically, we will yeah. do that. Like it's planned, guys. That we will d make a video also about the films to to take out uh, what might be important mm -hmm. for Jurassic World Evolution. Just taking out of the films, yeah. but yeah. But yeah, um, a, a lot of the influence was taken. So I mean, uh, the Spinosaurus was on the cover. I mean that. You know what I mean, and that's mm -hmm. yeah. a bit controversial because I know a lot of people don't like the whole con Spinosaurus uh, fight with the T Rex and stuff, uh, the outcome yeah. and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's very uh, it's very heavily influenced by three. Even the raptors, uh, I think, are Jurassic Park three raptors, which it would have been nice to have an option to have the different variants because there's four different variants of Velociraptor now, including Jurassic World, isn't there? So, um, yeah. but I mean, 
I, <laughs> yeah, it, it's influenced, but it's it's still got that feel. Do you know what I mean? Like it's still your Jurassic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The only thing that I think it should have had, which it didn't have, was the uh, the Jeep tour it uses. Um, it go, can go in the enclosure, but it uses the Jeep tour style of the powered car, where it's actually mm-hmm. not. You know what I mean? So whereas, whereas yeah, what yeah, it should I'm, have done yeah. is had a, a road for the tour, and then the in the enclosure ones used the um, Jeep Wranglers, the gas powered Jeeps. But that's you know we, we I'm I'm being picky. <laughs> yeah, so. You know what you know that's but that's just actually what we are gonna have to yeah, expect, yeah. right? I mean, look at the community of Planet Coaster. They're gonna rip Frontier apart if like the style of the the wheels of a coaster car yeah. is not correctly angled. And I'm quite sure that we will have to expect the same from the Jurassic Park fans. Um, and this is, you know, I'm not being offensive, but this is a way bigger base than planet coaster will ever have yeah i think so, this game's going to be and I, yeah it's going to so, be huge like because you've got the the jurassic park brand will i mean yes the game's going to i believe the game's going to be really 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 good but the brand will sell it alone as well do you know what i mean yes so definitely yeah and so people will be by you know by by, by definition they will be picky. yeah they will so, and i uh, <laughs> Without, I mean, it hasn't even it isn't even out yet. Of course, if it, if it was out, we'd be playing it, right? Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't be, we no. wouldn't be talking. We would play. Well, we'd be talking, <laughs> but we'd be messaging each other, going, "Oh my goodness," kind of thing. So, um, yeah. but I, there are going to be criticisms. There are going to be complaints, but there is with every single game. There is anyway. So yeah, sure. It's yeah. Uh, you, no game will please everyone. It just won't. It just won't. No, 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 no. That's yeah. totally impossible, yeah. right? Yeah, um, but as we talk, I just f- my my phone was just vibrating, and I was looking why, and uh, it, it just occurs that Jurassic World Evolution just uploaded a new video, which is called um, Species Profile. Let me just check because I didn't. Uh, uh, it is the uh, Ceratosaurus, oh. which has now the species profile. Just to mention, um, I'm I'm not going to go too deep into it because that's not part of this video. We will definitely go into species discussion. Um, but I think we just have one game left. I, I think, and I'm just gonna decide this by now. Um, this is Two Rock Evolution, right? Is it called Evolution? Uh, the, is it the, just I think Rock? there's three, and I think the last one they did was Evolution. I think. I think. Ah, okay. Yeah. I think basically we just include this now as a few uh, screenshots, but as it is a first person shooter, I'm not quite sure if, if it is too important because we already know that it will basically be a simulation game. Um, and so it is, you know, it's nice to know that there were like games yeah. like this. There was another one as well. I, I completely World. forgotten uh, when you asked me. Um, Trespasser, The Lost World Trespasser, which was a PC game. Um, and it was uh, okay. it was heavily criticized for being buggy and things. But it was really advanced for the time. It was really advanced. It used like a physics system and stuff like that. So that's something we can talk about in the future as well. So, um, Which is quite rare. I, I, I have a copy of it as well. Like uh, I think I, I got it on eBay. But it's quite a rare game, so it's kind of a nice collection piece. Do you know what I mean? I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, if I, I can always record some some footage for you and stuff. So yeah, yeah, it would yeah. be very cool because I I don't own mm. all of these games. Um, uh, but yeah, I think now to to make this video really also. Um, the start of a series talking about what will come with Jurassic World Evolution. I think. What do you think we can take out all of? Out of all the old games which you will want to see actually uh, in in the Jurassic World Evolution film. Are there any features you want to pi- point out um, especially? Yeah, I, so, I'll say what I say. I, I'll say what I said to Frontier when I when I spoke to them. I think I think uh, um, Nick Rogers, you know, head of animation. I believe these are pretty much the same words. I him, I said, I just want to build my park and look at it and think, wow. That is my park. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want to... Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I think it's going to be able to do that because Jurassic's got that wow factor anyway, hasn't it? Like, like, yeah. um, like in Jurassic World, you know when he opens the hotel doors and you just see the park open up? Like, that, that's Absolutely, the feeling yeah. I think the game's going to have for everyone. But if we're going to delve deeper into it, um, I, uh, I don't know. You put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I want out of it? Um, 
don't know. I'm gonna. I, I, I tell you what, you answer first, and then I'll. I'll, I'll okay. I'll... Okay. Yeah. Well, I got the advantage that I knew what ah, I was going to ask. That's so... <laughs> that's I'm gonna take a think of a question yeah. next time and put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah. But actually, um, for me, the the thing is that I, as you said, I want to have the park, which is totally mm. my own, but that's maybe not the feature, because I hope that they at least do this, but for me, the biggest feature is um, I want, <laughs> so ridiculous, but I want dinosaurs kill people. And <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, I'm so sorry to say this, but it, it is a part of yeah. Jurassic I mean, I think, I think we will and, get that, because the, yeah, the launch trailer and, uh, had it, you will, didn't it? The, the thing is that. Yeah, yeah ex exactly. And I think um, one of the cool things you can also see in Planet Coaster um, with the animation of mm. the people, and I mean, Frontier is really good at doing animations in general. Uh, it's just fun to look right. at, right? It's a computer game. I don't like people getting killed, so don't <laughs> get people out there. Uh, it's, uh, it's totally... Um, it, it's just for yeah. the fun factor. Uh, I hope that this game will provide a fun factor. And the other thing is, um, what I liked about Zoo Tycoon a lot, um, maybe I'm judging this now with a little bit of a different view because I was that young mm. back then, but I actually want to have a good simulation yeah. aspect in. I want to be, I want it to be challenging. That's right? kind of what I, I, I was going to, be... I, when you were talking, I was thinking about what I was going to say. I know what I want now. I want more breakouts. I want, I want, yeah. because G Operation Genesis didn't have that many if you were, if you put the features, you know, the security features in, but I want, I I want to be playing and then all of a sudden it's like uh velociraptor is broken out and you, you know what I mean? I want that. And I want it to be much more, yeah, not, not, not often, not as often as to get annoying, but just when you've relaxed, just when you've got your park running smoothly and then I want the alarm to go off. Do you know what I mean? I want to, I want it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. I'm I'm totally on your side regarding this, um, and also like like how many of them has to be balanced, mm. of course, but make it challenging, yeah. right? It you know not that you earn that much money that you have like fifty helicopters mm. and just have your army ever <laughs> go back to them and you know. But yeah, anyways, yeah. Well, um, yes. Chris, I think we'd wrap it up already because we will have some more episodes going on in the Great. next couple of weeks uh, where we go more into detail. This was just guys for you out there. Uh, a quick heads up, right? For all of you, just a little bit uh, going over the old games which have been there. I will put some links down in the description below if you want to go more into detail of those games. I'm quite sure we didn't capture too much of it because, you know, that would be way too long for a video because you can surely make a video um, out of each own yeah, individual sure. game and talk about for hours. But just for you guys as a service, this just a heads up because we will deep dive uh, a lot deeper into... Uh, the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park world in the next kind of episodes where we talk a lot about and I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna mention what's going <laughs> to happen to make it for you guys a little bit more easy to understand what's going on. So this first episode should give you a heads up and then we will have in the next couple of episodes, first of all we will talk about what the films offered us um, and then we will definitely have to talk about the uh, breeding system because I believe this is one thing we always forgot about. Um, because that will be, you know, I'm, I'm wondering how they are going to do, to achieve this. Like, how are the dinosaurs done when we can breed them in, like, you know, the, the gen laboratory mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, so there have to be variants in the kind of yeah. models and stuff. And this will be very interesting and we will spend a whole episode talking about this stuff. Um, and potentially we will also have a developer on and talking about the films and what they think about it. Uh, I can already tell that we won't talk about secret stuff because this time this is a very important thing for Frontier. So don't expect us to talk about some leaky stuff. We will just talk about um, their point of view about the films. So maybe in the next episode already talking about the films we will have somebody on. But yeah, that should be it guys. Uh, Chris, thanks a bunch no, for being Thank here. you for having me and, and uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, listening and, and watching and stuff I, re I really appreciate it cool so yeah we will uh, talk to each other in the next episode and also to you guys uh, but for now that should be it and as always if you like that give that video a thumbs up or a who five so to say there's no button for who five <laughs> yet, but, uh, hit the hit the subscribe button instead it's the same <laughs> it's, it's basically the same so um, yeah if you enjoyed uh, just have a good day guys and see you in the next video bye bye